Hey everyone, I just wanted to say real quick before the video starts that it looks terrible. Um, I made the mistake of keeping my monitor on and in the frame while I was talking, so uh, the focus is constantly shifting and the video is really grainy. I tried my best to fix it, and I did try to re-record it, but I just I re-recorded it so many times and I just wasn't happy with how uh, the re-recordings turned out, uh, and I really don't want to do it again. So. I'm sorry that the video looks like garbage. Please just bear with me here uh, and enjoy, I hope. Thank you. I'm still not convinced that this is a real thing that happened. Hey everyone, I'm Chris, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're one of almost 400 new subscribers that I obtained in the last couple days uh, because of this video, uh, which is completely insane uh and i just wanted to make a quick little video just to uh thank you for subscribing and watching and sharing this video uh and just to kind of in say hi introduce myself uh i don't have a script which you can probably already tell uh and i'm sorry if this video looks crappy i don't really have any sort of expensive lighting equipment or anything because i'm not typically on camera uh this video is gonna suck so I've been making YouTube videos since about 2013, like February 2013 when I was like 12 years old in middle school. Uh, my friend Gabe and I just saw a bunch of other people making like Minecraft gameplay videos and stuff like that on YouTube and we thought it'd be fun to do. So we've been making videos for a long time. Uh, a lot of our older videos aren't up anymore because if they were, they would speak for themselves. Uh, but yeah, we've been making videos for a long time. I've experimented with a bunch of different types of videos in that time. Uh, and I also have a podcast now that I do with Gabe and one of our other friends, Nick. Um, but <laughs> uh, I've kind of gotten past the point of like hoping that a video of ours would blow up eventually. Uh, like, you know, when, when you're in middle school and you see all these other people blowing up because of Minecraft videos, you kind of get the idea in your head like, oh... If I make Minecraft videos, you know, people will watch them and like them, and then uh, it'll just blow up and be this huge thing. Uh, so we kind of were thinking that, or at least I was, uh, when when we first started uh, our first channel back in 2013. Um, but I've kind of, you know, over the years, as we, we kept making videos, I kind of just uh, was like, okay, I'm just going to make videos because I enjoy making videos, uh, and I never really expected any sort of uh, reaction to them. It's just, you know, if people like them, uh, great. But this video, <laughs> it's, it's really ironic because I really was not expecting any sort of reaction anywhere close to what ended up happening. This video has half a million views now on YouTube, three million views on Twitter. My Twitter follower count, uh, more than doubled. Um, uh, my YouTube subscriber count, like, quadrupled. Uh, and I kind of lost track of the time. I think it's been two days since I put the video up. It might be less. I'm pretty sure it's two days. I don't know. It's just been a complete whirlwind, and it's been insane. I've got friends of mine that have been texting me saying they didn't even know that I made this video, but they saw it, and they thought it was funny, and then they realized afterwards that it was me. Uh, I was freaking... I was number 13 on the YouTube trending page earlier today, and... I'm still on the trending page as of right now, uh, and this is all for an 11 second video of me deleting a character and typing in a new one in Photoshop. Uh, so if there's one lesson I've learned from this whole experience, it's to try as little as possible to gain the most success. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I actually do have some videos in the works that are going to take a little while longer to make uh, because I am putting a lot of effort into them. One of them is a, uh, a montage of a bunch of the games that came out this last decade because I was looking at videos of, um, you know, like there's like people that make edits of like movies of the last year and the last decade. And I tried to look up one of those for games because I really like those videos, but pretty much everything was just top 10 lists. Uh, and I kind of wanted video games to have some sort of celebratory video like that. Uh, I'm sure they're out there somewhere. I just wasn't able to find them. So I'm working on that video right now I also wrote a script for a video about Star Wars But I don't know if it's a good idea to put that out right now with the current climate of the Star Wars fan base 
Uh, plus, I would need the Rise of Skywalker Blu-ray to even edit it, but that's something that I might do uh, later down the line. Uh, but, you know, these, these types of videos, the super short ones, they kind of just come as I please. Like, it just... I, I don't I hesitate to say whenever I have a spark of inspiration because that kind of sounds pretentious for shit posting but um you know just whenever I have an idea that I think is funny I'll make it and put it out so I'm sure there will be more of these types of videos in the future uh but uh if you subscribe to me because you found me because of this video uh thank you so much you can check out my other videos if you want uh they're pretty much I mean they're pretty all over the place um in terms of the actual content but uh you know hopefully you enjoy them and hopefully you stick around for what's next so oh yeah one more thing uh before i end this uh something i've been seeing a lot of in the comments on this on all platforms is that this video is sort of not an attack on sony but just sort of making fun of them for being unoriginal with the logo i think the ps5 logo is completely fine i think it works and i like that it's consistent with the other ones and it's simplistic so people understand it's the next playstation you know it's not like something like xbox series x where it's like it can get it can get confused with the other xboxes and xbox one x and xbox one s and all that uh so i like the simplicity i like the logo i think it's fine the funny thing about it to me was that at the convention or not the convention the conference that sony t revealed the logo at they sort of it was pretty much the only new thing they revealed at the conference and they kind of treated it like a big deal they're like i'm pleased to present for the first time our new logo and i'm pleased to share with you today for the first time our new logo and it's just you know it's the same logo but just with a five instead so that's all i just thought that was funny uh but yeah that's pretty <laughs> that's pretty much all i have to say for this video uh thank you for watching and subscribing uh i hope you'll stick around for what's next the uh the games of the decade should be coming out before the end of this month i spent several hours editing it last night and i'm not even halfway through 2010 yet so it's probably going to take me a while uh but yeah hopefully that'll be out pretty soon uh thank you for watching and uh i will see you next time